Hello and welcome back to the Chill Crew. So, I've been thinking about this Taro thing and I've been thinking about this murder that we're doing. And I'm not sure it's gonna work the way that we want it to work. Now hear me out, we have a betrothal, right? I don't know whether the AI, I assume it can, but can break this betrothal, right? Because, um, what I'm thinking is, we murder this person, right? Then, that means that his heir is his daughter. His daughter is married, is going to marry our son, but non-matrilineally. So, he should, in my eyes, break the betrothal, because that would mean that, um... It would that be a game over for him essentially so he should break the betrothal now I don't know if he's gonna do that but I'm intrigued to figure it out so let's uh we've got 16 months we're gonna find out we're just gonna speed it up oh they just took our old capital nice more land for did you just die you just died Okay, you're betrothed. Are you even going to accept that? I don't know if you're going to accept that. Alright, we'll keep trying to kill her, I guess. Why not? Chaos. Uh, oh, can we get somebody else in here? Nope. We have no money. Alright, it's two years and we have much less percentage. I guess a bunch of people were in Vasa. Okay, solitude in the Great Hall. Wella seems to have a difficult time at our latest feast. Can be shy, impatient, or gluttonous. These are all terrible, I think. Well, shy. Uh, hostile scheme resistance is higher, but personal scheme is down. Eh, I'll take it. Why not? Seems good to me. Murder. Be winged messenger. As my scheme moves closer to fru fruition, uh, swift communication is key. I have an especially clever pigeon which Sia could use to send an urgent message to me here in East Crew if the need arises. But how would I get the bird into the castle of Bisanduga? So I could train a bird, which would give us messenger pigeon, which increases its chance. If I send the gift myself, she couldn't, uh, he could, sorry, she couldn't refuse, but that lowers the secrecy, or it's too risky. We don't have 15 gold, it's too risky. It would be really good. It was a great event if we had more than, you know, five gold. That would make it a great event. Okay. Uh, still trying to get this kill. Even tempered. As I was watching Tear play with the other child. I was watching Te play with the other children when uh, Kapakala tried to push him over. Te took it all in stride and sat down uh, to talk to Kapakala instead. So he can turn the other cheek and be forgive forgiving. Is this our heir? It is. Wrathful or Fickle? I think Wrathful is the one I want most out of this. The lowest intrigue though. Fickle, hostile scheme resistance? Yeah, actually we'll send that, we'll, we'll make you Fickle. I know our stress is really high, but yeah. What are we gonna do about it? The man in charge of cleaning the clothes of Farba Bintu's guards is brought to me. No one will notice him tampering with their clothes, and if something distracting for the guards could be planted, what would you have of me, my lord? So I can gain progress, or I can uh, cut uh, holes in their clothes in inappropriate areas. Uh, I don't have 50 gold, so I guess inappropriate area cutting is what we're doing. Hey, we got a couple new people in our scheme. Nice, we're back at 90%, six months to go. That's what I like to see. Okay, oh, what have we got in here? Uh, nothing in particular. How, much, how many troops do we have? We have 1,200. We could potentially raid. It might be time to start doing that. Uh, our wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Do we have any children who need to be married off? No, our son is our oldest child. Do we have any uh, brothers and sisters who need to be married off? Potentially, yeah. Uh, we have some half-sisters. Our sister is married, but then our half-sister is only nine. Okay, so we got time to think about things here. Cleaning up. Of course the abhorrent Koli would cause problems. He fails to take proper precautions when moving around Farba Bintu's court, and the Farba starting to notice is only a matter of time before he's discovered. So and say traces of someone sneaking about will surely stress him out, in which case we gain progress, or he needs to uh, take the time to do better. So we'd get a slothful agent, which lowers our scheme power. Um, hmm. He's either exposed or we lose some stuff. Uh, I think I'll take the 83% chance that we just gain some progress. Yeah, we remained undetected. My hookum blow has uh, expired. Okay. When's this marriage? It is very soon. How many, uh, like, when's your birthday? 17th of September. So yeah, we're about uh, a year and a bit away. 
Coley is preparing a special trip for young Farba Bintu. The child trusts that she will be brought out on an enjoyable day in the forest. Well, it's traditional. A mangled corpse. They are dead. They said children of the future. We gained 30 stress, which puts us at the max level of stress. Achievement, uh, turning to diamonds. Okay, well, what was that then? Uh, reach the highest possible stress level. The first sign that something is wrong is a sharp pain in my chest. I stagger towards the wall for support as the pain spreads down my left arm and I grow lightheaded. I I don't have time for this. I have things to do. As I try and take a step, I collapse to the floor. I try to cry for help, but the only sound that escapes me is a strangled whimper. The pain in my chest only builds and builds, and the darkness overtakes my vision. I can feel my heart stutter. Ugh. We're dead. Okay. Krontihin uh, uh, Pei of Crew has crossed the door to the world of spirits at age th at 37 years of age. He died from stress. Renowned for his ugliness, it was it was rumored a mere glance from him could give nightmares for days. Krontihin uh, Kron uh, uh, Wella ascends to the throne. Merely 14 years old, he will need to rely on the council during the first years of his rule. All right. Uh, well, this lineage, hey, at least keeps our lineage going from uh, the previous Iron Man part. That's cool. Uh, it looks like our rulers are getting significantly younger each year, as in for when they die. Not a great sign for our current ruler. And wait, we lost two titles? Oh, no, no. Oh, that's fine. We only lost Lord Holdings. I mean, we could kill them and make them ours again, but I'm okay right now. We're not making a lot of money, but I'm okay. We need a spy master. There is absolutely no way whatsoever I'm putting you as my spy master. You hate me, you wanna kill me. My mother is a perfect spy master. Like a hundred percent. She will not kill me. I hope. Right. So we are still due to marry this person. In just over a year. Well, we can negotiate an alliance with Nana. Because we're shy, we're going to take some stress, but I'm still going to do it. Okay. Let's speed things up. We have our alliance. Can I negotiate an alliance with my other brother? No. Okay. That's fine. Fervent fe feaster. Many months have passed since the lords and ladies of the realm gathered for a feast, my Krontihin. Uh, uh, Kaboto... Uh, eagerly continues. It would benefit you, not to mention those among us who appreciate a good feast, if it was remedied soon. So and say a feast for people? I don't think so, because I'm shy and he doesn't like it. Or, he gains stress and he does like it. No, I don't have money for a feast. So, because I'm shy, I'll take my easy way out. Hey, we finished longhouses, which is cool. What's that get us? Uh, longhouses gets us levies. Okay, that's not bad. A few extra levies wouldn't hurt. Yeah, okay. Unwelcome attention. Um, my brother has been pestering me for a long time now. Many of the other children listen to him and he uses his influence to turn them against me. I cannot get him to stop no matter what uh, I can do. He becomes my bully. We're being bullied by our six-year-old brother at um, 15. Okay, well. Sure. Whatever. Betrothed can marry. So, we can marry? Is this us? No. Who are these people? Oh, my mother? Wait a second. They were betrothed. Wait. My mother wasn't betrothed. Maybe she was by the game? Who are you? I don't know who you are, but you're not marrying my mo- No, I'm not gonna send that off. Alright, it happened automatically. That's fine. I still have an alliance with Toma here. I don't really need an alliance with Toma, but I have an alliance with Toma. We need a new spy master. Um, let me figure out if we have anyone who likes us. I guess you are the closest to liking us. Uh, I would send you a gift. Only gets a seven opinion for all of our money, but I guess I'll do it. Sure. Right, uh, we're in June. Now we get to see the uh, consequences of our actions. August, September, what's our birthday? Our birthday is the 17th. I'm gonna slow it down. Okay, maybe not quite that slow. 17th. 
will accept because we're betrothed. Oh, perfect. Okay, so there's no way out of betrothals. You can't break them, like, quite that easily. Like, when, once you get to the age, you're just betrothed. Okay, so this means that our children will inherit Bassa, right? We're allied to Bassa, which is great. Our children will inherit it. We're allied to Toma and Lobo as well. Okay, this is good. Bassa has 1,600. They're in a war currently. They're attacking somebody for more land. In a subjugation war? Oh, they're in the Casa subjugation war. For a second there, I thought Bassa was subjugating someone, and I was like, this is great. They are bordering Ghana, though, which is uh, a little worrying, but that's okay. Right. So now we've done that. Uh, wait a second. Why do I have this martial lifestyle? Let's get a new lifestyle. Um, I really want children. That, that's the main thing I want. So we go family focus. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything in here that gives us more children straight away. Now we go family focus, get that fertility there. We could also go for the temptation focus for the fertility and then try maybe like weeds in a garden. But do I want that many children or do I just want one? I kind of just want one, but um, I think this is maybe more useful because it also lets us get the fabricate hooks thing and we can try doing stuff with that. Yeah, this is kind of the more useful one if you're going peaceful. The other option is that we go family focus and switch into maybe family hierarch for befriend. Although we're not good at personal schemes, so yeah, let's let's go temptation and try weeds in the garden. Sure, and this should also the 20% bonus should help negate the fact that our wife is homosexual. So wait, that doesn't come with a fertility penalty? Oh, it did in the previous game, but no. Okay, that's fine then. Wedding celebration. We're married, so we can collect 75 gold or. 350 prestige. Uh, I'll take the 75 gold. Thank you very much. We're rich. The puppy. I'm out playing when I hear it. It's a tiny sound, frail and scared. I look all over, under every stone, around every corner, behind every bush, and finally I find it. A small puppy, all alone, sits between two stones. It's my puppy now. I got a pet dog, which gives me diplomacy and prowess. Nice. Okay. As I pet the dog on the head, she happily wags her tail. What name would suit her? Something historical, something alluding to her white fur it is an important decision. And as the dog rolls over to let me pet her stomach, I find myself distracted for a while. But wait, I know. I will name her... Um... I don't know. I'm going to name her after a dog which uh, my father had. We're going to name it Lily. There we go. By father, I mean real life, not, you know, game. Because our father did not have one in the game. Our father died of stress. Which he wouldn't have done if he had a dog. I don't know if that's true or not. That's a completely fabricated statement. But there you go. Uh, is this our wife? Yeah, our wife has called us in to the Loman conquest of the Germana of Konyan. So, wait a second. Who is attack? Wait. Oh, as a defender. So, Loma is attacking... So Loma is attacking here. Okay. How many people are on each side? Oh, we need to contribute in quickly. Okay. Uh, didn't expect this, but that's okay. Let's raise some troops. Yeah, raise all of our armies. Make sure that we have some commanders. Do I have any more people we can recruit? We can maybe recruit you for three gold? Oh, I'll take you for three gold. Yeah. Definitely. That seems fantastic. That gives us that last champion that we need. Cool, speed it up. We're now fully uh, strengthed up. Is this our best commander? No, we're, we're better. Is it because of prowess that it didn't put us in charge? Yeah, it's because of prowess it didn't put us in charge. Uh, I don't even know. We could lead. I'm just going to let this one go. We're going to march up here and try and get this army before anything bad happens. Yeah. I, I really want to get that defense going here. It thinks that we'll win because we have more men at arms counter. They have more enemy commander traits and they're defending in. We are defending in hills. Okay. Uh, I could switch up to this guy potentially. And that gives us. Wait, is this guy any good at prowess? No. But because he has the extra rolls in hills. Yeah, he gets a sort of advantage in hills. He's slightly better at this for a hill one. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But it seems good. 
Our men at arms counter their men at arms, so we win. Nice. They have a lot less troops now. Which has immediately evened up this a little bit. Oh, we have another ally as well in Castle. Nice. We're going to march over here and just chase them down. Uh, I don't know where they're going, but... Okay, this is fine. Lily, feet, and paw. It's become a habit to walk uh, Lily daily, and I'm not sure which of us enjoys the fresh air and sun the most. Lily bounds ahead and looks back at me, barks and, as if to say, catch up. And on we walk. So we get a medium health bonus. Cool. Let's head straight in there. Cool, we got it. Our champion was wounded. Uh, you've been corresponding with my chancellor, and he's made you dislike me. Um, okay. I'm not, I can't say I'm a huge fan of that, to be honest. You know what we might do with my chancellor? Is uh, stop him doing foreign affairs and just do internal affairs again? Right. March up here. Right. Uh, oh, you've become independent. Oh, okay. Interesting. Are you heading just to the end there? I think that you are. We'll chase you down. Yep, perfect. We're going to catch him in the hills. We're beating him up again. Nice. We should have some contribution going on here. Yeah, 100% of the contribution. Go join in. Is this just an... Looks like there's some sort of internal war going on here. Yeah, uh, we've joined the siege. Okay, cool. Oh, everyone else left, so we have the siege. Uh, you are weak and I am strong. There is no other justification for me to come and take what I want. So you want Lobo. Um, how many people are joining in on your side? That's quite a lot. Alright, well I guess I will call in my allies. You can marry? Uh, my mother. Okay, so this will get us an alliance, potentially, if we want it. No, it won't, because there are no alliances to get. How about you? What's this religion? The Rogue Cien. Okay. Uh, I guess you hail. I mean, I don't see any benefit to... Actually, yeah, why is our mother in our court? Did she not just marry someone? I guess her previous spouse is... Dead. Okay. That's fine. Um... Yeah, okay. I don't know. We'll, we'll just leave our mother be. She's not really the biggest problem right now. I'd love to call in you. So this is my wife I'm calling to war? Yeah. What about my, uh, my other fast, uh, my other um, people I'm at war with? Sorry, the, my other allies I'm at war with currently. Oh. Yeah, okay. Wandering Hearts. Tonight for the Dothans... Dothans? Tonight for the Dothsynth time, I find myself lounging next to a guttering fire with Corto. Did my... I have a strong feeling my father might have slept with her. Anyway, her company just feels so natural, so easy. Like she has been staying in East Crew for years instead of weeks. If only Corto agreed to stay permanently, then these long, lazy evenings could last forever, of course, with the right nudge. So we can do a challenge, in which case she would join our court. Uh, just ask I'll fetch the moon for you. Or, um... A toast to fine if transient company. We lose stress because we're shy? Yeah, I think we just take that and she gains some opinion of us. That's not too bad. I'm going to win this war for my ally. There we go. We've won the war for our ally, which should then allow us to call in our other ally to this war. Wait, pause. So can I now call in my other ally? Oh, I'll definitely take the 25 gold. I thought I had other allies. So I have Bassa and I have Lobo. But Lobo, wait, are they the person? Oh, they're they're underneath the person. No, they're they're my vassal. Okay, I thought I had an ally over here as well, but I guess not. Maybe I had an ally alliance with the pre. I had an alliance with the previous person. So actually, my mother does get me an alliance, if we could find an alliance from it. But there are no alliances. Okay, well, that's not good. Um, let's see here. Do we have any hooks or anything that we can get on anyone? No, the only hook we have is my half-sister. We might be just be losing Lobo. Which is which funny, we actually have the alliance of the person who's being attacked. Um, I would love it if you join in with me here. Uh, can I get any mercenaries for 100 gold? Not, well, I kinda can. Yeah, I could get 1,000, uh, sorry, I could get 700, which give us 1,300 max troops. Uh, Lily, the council meeting. As me and the councillors are gathering for a meeting, me and my, as me and my councillors are gathering for a meeting, my dog Lily approaches me with begging eyes and drooping tail. She does not like to be left alone, and this is an important meeting, so she can join me. Everyone loses uh, some opinion of me. 
or something bad happens. Uh, or I can slam the door. Oh, she'll join me. That's fine. I'm sorry, uh, Cruntithine uh, uh, Wella, says my shaman. I have to disagree with what you just said. Grr. Lily gives a guttural growl, and my Sundame jerks back, looking from the dog to me and back. On second thoughts, I think it's a great idea. Good girl. Yeah. Okay, we don't really have enough troops to do anything here. I mean, I guess we can reinforce in their territory. And that's something that we can do, but like... I really need my ally to come join me here. But they're not going to, they're joining their other allies' war. This, my brother has been taken hostage. Okay. Well, that's not great. Is that, he's also my heir right now, isn't he? Yeah. Boiling anger. You may be Krontaheen, but you're also a solitary boar. So, um, my vassal becomes angry at me, but I lose 22 stress. Okay. Do you want to maybe come join me in this? They, they are joining me. Nice. Um, you've made somebody like me. Okay. My chancellor's made somebody like me, I should say. So you dropping down here? Yeah, you come join me. I have been captured and detained against my will by Farbus Wool. Wait a second. We're not even at war with you, are we? If we are. Uh, we are indeed at war. Okay, let me just work out. If I escape, this works out. Okay. This might be the end. Uh, I would like to escape from prison. It depends on your prowess and traits. Oh, the, ga the game wasn't paused? Huh, well I'm free. Well, there we go. So be it. <laughs> we lost uh, Lobo. I am not. I can't say I'm too happy about that. Disband all of our troops. And it's all because we looked weak because Bassa called us into their war. That, that hurts so much. It's because we looked weak. That's why we uh, got hit there. We need a new spy master because our spy master was Lobo. You're liking me more and more as time goes on, but yeah. Um, we could recruit Corto. How much does it cost? Three gold? Yeah, I'll recruit Corto and stick her in here. She seems like the best option. Right, Lobo. Yeah, nothing we can do there. Right, uh, I guess we'll just unpause. We're not in the best of situations. Yeah, I can't say I'm too happy with how things went there, but that's fine. Anyone want to marry my uh, mother? Not for an alliance, so there's no reason to do it. Anything else we need to do? No? Okay, well, continue uh, hiding in the corner, hoping that we'll eventually seduce our wife. Hey, on the positive side, we're about to get another perk. There we go. Let's get that 30% fertility. So now, we can at the very least, as, like we're at 50% fertility with our wife. So that's good. I'm out riding my dog Lily beside me when she suddenly runs off into the jungle. My retinue assures me she will come back, but what if she doesn't? I can go and try and catch her, I'll be patient. Oh, I'm going to try and catch her. I search for a long time, but no sign of Lily can be found. Just as I'm about to leave, my brother and friend, Te, appears out of nowhere. Lily in tow. My friend, I do believe you lost something. Oh, well, thank you very much, brother who just lost some land. Wait, what's this one? He's a lunatic as well. Oh, okay. Thank you. Our dog is causing us a lot of issues. Uh, we're also making zero money. Uh, that's fine. It's 93 years to get the next development. I think I might go for collect taxes instead. I was told that perhaps the development doesn't give us any benefit because we're tribal. Let me just hover over that. Uh, development is ignored except for a supply limit because the owner is a tribal. Alright, so we don't actually get any other things apart from supply limit from our development. I mean, it does help us with our um, cultural fascination, I assume. But yeah, okay. So it's not as amazing as it is on other things. Not that it's that amazing to start with. I really need to get a, a son or something, and then... Ideally, what we want to do is get a son, kill ourselves, and become our uh, heir. But that's fine. My vassal approaches me, rage in his eyes and dog in his hand, dragged along by the scruff of its neck. As he reaches me, I see that it is dear Lily he is holding. I found this beast among my things. What wasn't chewed to bits was covered in excrement. So pay 50 gold or say, she's a dog. I'm going to say, she's a dog. Because I don't want to pay 50 gold. Hey, our money went up, even though we have 0, 0.0. I'm sure I just saw that go up by 1. Maybe I'm crazy. 
Do we have anything else that we can realistically be doing right now? No, we're really waiting for that sun. Okay, well. I can keep trying. I mean, just keep pushing up the fertility, basically. It's the main way to go. Lily then charmed my vassal who previously uh, she'd eaten all of the stuff from. Wonderful. Hey, it went up again by one. Nice. Our culture has discovered ledger. What does ledger do for us? Domain limit plus one. That's just uh, super useful. Yeah, super useful. Love it. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was sarcasm with our one domain limit. This really doesn't do an awful lot for us. Okay, deadly encounter. As I'm visiting one of the small rivers close to the chieftain of Prue, I'm a, uh, as I'm about to quench my first, a local man resolutely positions himself between me and the river. The nerve! Just about to order him removed, he speaks up. There's a crocodile in the water, my lord. Oh yeah, last time we were like, oh, I want to go kill myself. But this time, what are we going to do? I could recruit him. Zero chance of dying to crocodiles. Does it cost us anything? No, I might just recruit him anyway. I can invest in their county and get development growth. No, I'll just recruit him. That's fine. Yeah, he becomes my champion. He's good enough. Uh, we now need a new chancellor. Um, You know what? You could be my chancellor. I don't really care if you dislike me as a chancellor. And now you like me a lot more. Yeah, sure. Pregnancy! My wife is pregnant. Fantastic. All we needed was 50% fertility bonuses. Greetings. I'm willing to release um, my courtier from your care. Wait a second. What? Why, why, why would I... I don't care about her at all. I'm not going to pay you 10 gold for her. No. Why? She's just a random courtier with no skills. Um, you've invited me to a feast. Well, of course I'll go. This is the guy who hated who hated and liked my dog. Okay, cool. The dilemma. Uh, the feast is dwindling down and I find myself talking to Nana Gaboto. Uh, so let's try and get a friendship. Yeah, we'll get our opinion up. Um, what kind of meat is this? So rich in flavor. What are these vegetables? Almost sweet. Oh, and these are wonderful little desserts. The feast is taking some of the best food uh, as... The feast has some of the best food I've ever tasted. This is amazing. So I get lose stress because I'm gluttonous. Life has become reaffirmed. My health goes up. Stress gain goes down. And my, um, yeah, my host is getting a whole bunch of benefits. This is a win-win. Okay, so how's he feeling about me now? He's now plus 65. Oh, amazing. Oh, because we are friends. It's not just grow closer. That was become friends. Farewell, my friend. I lose more stress because I'm gluttonous and shy. I guess because I'm leaving, I lose stuff because I'm shy. Okay. Hey, we're making 0 0.1. Nice. Such a huge amount coming in here. My daughter and heir. Well, not the ideal sentence, but okay. Uh, we have a daughter. I'm not going to name her that because I have no chance of pronouncing it. Bindu is much, pro uh, much more likely. How about Janjay? Janjay sounds good. I can pronounce that one. Uh, sh we can remove our attraction penalties in the seduction schemes. Uh, I don't know if that's going to help. Seduction scheme power up? I mean, none of this is really necessary. I don't really need seduction at all, apart from the first one. Yeah. Yeah, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Yeah, okay, so all of that's done. We can go torturer. I don't really want to torture anyone, and we don't really seem to have many opportunities to torture anyone either. So I guess we take this and get Fabricate Hooks? Yeah. Again, there's not really anything I want to do. I more just want to be at peace until um, like we have a proper heir. You would like me to ransom my half-sister? You know, I will ransom my half-sister. That one's much more likely for me to pay up. Okay, good. Can I change this yet? I mean, I might want to change just completely off. I don't think I need any of this. I could change. Okay, um... Maybe we just change, like, income. Just try and get some money. <laughs> yeah, maybe we have Fabricate Hooks. Maybe we go Fabricate Hooks with Golden Obligations and just try and make some money. Sure. Yeah, I need some income. Hey, we're now making 0 0.2 a month. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. We are also being raided. We could possibly raid people. However, we're being surrounded on both sides. We have you and you. We could raid our wife, but that seems just, like... That's not going to lead to good things. We could raid... Actually, I don't even know if you can raid your ally. 
We could raid this guy, but like he has more troops than us, so he could just walk over and beat us up. So we're, we're kind of trapped. Ransom, you'd like me to pay for my ran this random courtier to be free. He has zero prowess. Why would I ever ransom him? Hey, we gained a level of fame. Ho oh, ho, we are now distinguished. Gets us one extra knight, which isn't necessarily amazing. Heir in line to inherit titles? Yes, okay, we already knew that. <laughs> That's the whole point of what we've been doing. Perfect. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.